Nice one. One more flash into that mirror. No, I'm, I'm doing it this way. One more. Yeah. Helen is my mom. Uh, Helen is my grandmother. Well, Helen is my wife. We've been uh, married for over 60 years now, and we've actually been dating for more than 65 years. We were both at high school, and so whatever teenagers do at high school now, we were doing much the same thing. There's seven stages of Alzheimer's, and she's in her seventh stage. She's in her last stage of Alzheimer's. It's, it's also called the palliative stage. The palliative stage, you're in a situation where you're not expecting ever to be able to cure the situation. But the, in the palliative stage, the only thing, or the main thing that matters is the personal comfort of the patient. She's, she's almost immobile. She doesn't move much at all. Uh, and she eats three meals a day, but the meals have to be prepared for her and she has to be fed. She just would ask the same question more than once. I know Grandpa said one time when she was driving home, she got lost. And she had been driving home that same way for about 20 years. Right now, I would say I miss having a mom. Well, when it comes to that, it's basically everything because she's a totally different person. Um, I guess, yeah, just kind of, I'm just having another, another person there to talk to kind of life lessons that she had learned and you know be able to hear some of them and just her stories. What was she like to you as a mom? She was great. She was wonderful. She was very caring. She was very loving. Always had time for us and taught us stuff. I remember her uh, as being very loving and caring, especially when I was younger. I can I have very good memories of her reading me stories and uh, you know coming to visit me and cooking. But everyone was together singing happy birthday and I looked over at her and I could see her mouthing the words to happy birthday. There was no audible sound, but I could see her mouthing happy birthday. Happy birthday mm -hmm. to me. Well, we only have happy one birthday. Yeah. Birthday. There's a lot of candy. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, there's not one thing I remember her, you know, her last doing. It's sort of been a very slow, gradual, you know, descent. When you're with someone who has a terminal illness, you have to look at the positive things of that illness, and you have to try to be as positive as you can because there's nothing you can do about it.